Good morning and welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and today I'm going to be talking about ChatGPT from OpenAI and the latest updates. So uh, OpenAI has recently very quietly updated their ChatGPT model and it doesn't matter if you open it on your phone or in your web browser or on your computer. It is all updated across the board. I think most of the updates can be felt in the, the plus version, the, the ChatGPT 4.0. But let's take a look at all of the new features that they they have added. Uh, but just a remark, this is not ChatGPT 5.0. This is what we're expecting to launch uh, during this summer. But right now we're talking about some of the new features that were added to the existing model under the hood. So let's take a look at those. So first one is about editing DALI images. So this is very nice because you can see uh, this is actually real speed of, uh, of ChatGPT. So you can see how long it takes to generate an image, but you can now click on an image, uh, select you know parts of the image that you want to replace or um, edit in a way, uh, make some changes to the colors. Here we're adding bows uh, to this wonderful dog. <laughs> Um, and as you can see, it's taking a bit of time, uh, but I, I actually applaud uh, OpenAI for you know, not speeding up this video um, to manage expectations. This was directly shared by them, uh, by OpenAI. And as you can see, it's taken quite some time to edit that, that uh, image, though in total, it's definitely under one minute. But let's take a look at the result. Okay, these bows are not the best looking i guess but for this uh, you know kind of feature this is this is very nice if you need some some sort of editing and i will be playing with this myself as well to test it out the next one is to get inspiration when creating images with dali so you can basically play with different themes um, and we're gonna take a look at as you can see uh, close up low angle hand drawn you know styles sci-fi so this is this is just to get your let's say creative spirit going and flowing um yeah and again aspect ratio this is very nice like often i need something that is vertical and you get a square image or something like this so i actually am very happy for this new feature this is this is making it much more useful to be honest sci-fi vacationing polar bear okay nice one Let's take a look at the next iteration, next update that they, they have quietly added, and it's uh, about using ChatGPT uh, instantly. So without the need of signing in uh, or signing up, you can just type in, as you could see, chatgpt.com, and this is this is what you're getting. You can immediately start, uh, you know, working with it. So that's that's actually quite nice, and it can speed up a lot of things, especially if you would be in some internet cafe or something like that. And the next update that we have here is uh, regarding uh, basically reading aloud your chats that you have. And you just click on this button here. In the vast blue ocean, there lived a shark named Finley, known far and wide as the superhero of the sea, thanks to his gleaming spotless teeth. Every morning and night, Finley would embark on a... I don't know if you can choose a voice, but this is, this is actually quite nice. Uh, <laughs> this was supposed to be probably some, you know, good night fairy tale or something like that. So, but, uh, but a nice, nice feature as well. Okay, the next thing is how to opt out of training without an account. This is so good. This is so good. I love this. This is something that probably most of the corporate users were asking for. So if you don't want OpenAI to kind of steal your data or, you know, use them for training of their own model, you can opt out. And it was very easy. It's just uh, two clicks to get into that. So uh, yeah, for sure. And the next one is about making links stand out a little bit more for better context and easier content discovery. Um, and this is this is actually also quite nice, something that uh, I found very misleading in the previous version. Right now, the links are clearly defined. You can even just hover over them and see what the uh, you know, web page is behind it. And you can click on it right away and you know get it open in a new tab. So I, I really like this new feature there as well. And last but not least, this is a privacy kind of setting. We have the multi-factor authentication that is now enabled for ChatGPT and API accounts. Uh, so yeah, uh, if this floats your boat, you can you can definitely go ahead. So it's very nice to see that OpenAI is still evolving, uh, you know, their existing 
ChatGPT 4.0 experience. And yeah, we can just wait and see what uh, the 5.0 will bring finally in summer. But I'm quite happy about this and I'll be definitely testing out the edit uh, images feature. So this has been Jakub Vanish. Thanks a lot for joining. If you would like, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. We can discuss in the comment section. Uh, otherwise, I would be glad if you subscribe and cheers everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.